Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're excited to share with you the latest updates in Filmora 13. Wondershare Filmora launched Filmora 13 at the end of October last month and in this video I'm going to show you all the new features and updates and then decide if it's really worth upgrading from the previous Filmora 12. So before I jump into the video, if you want to purchase Filmora 13, click the link in the description to get 20% off on your purchase. One of the newly added features in Filmora 13 is called Filmora Copilot, this tool is basically a chatbot, somehow similar to ChatGPT, it's an AI assistant that helps to provide solutions to questions and tasks related to Filmora or video editing in general. I highly recommend new Filmora users or beginners in video editing to try out this AI tool, because it's going to help solve your problems without having to go to YouTube to search for them. Next, we have the Optimized Screen Recorder in Filmora 13. In the Optimized Screen Recorder, you can now customize your webcam from rectangular to circle and also change the horizontal view of the webcam, this was something we couldn't do in the previous versions of Filmora, now in Filmora 13 you can do that. With the Optimized Screen Recorder, you can now edit your finished screen recording, like the webcam, screen recording, voiceover all in their separate track, similar to Camtasia Screen Recorder, this feature is super helpful when you want to edit or change the position of the webcam or remove the system audio without affecting the voiceover itself. Next, we have the compound clip. This feature is similar to that of the group tool in Adobe Premiere. So glad we are finally seeing this in Filmora 13. This tool basically groups your entire work into one track, which really helps in organizing the timeline while editing large projects to avoid mistakes or confusion. To access compound clip, Align the tracks you want to group and right-click on your mouse and click on the option Create Compound Clip or type in Alt plus G on your keyboard to use the compound clip and pick a name for the group and save. If you want to expand the track to its previous state, click on the main timeline drop-down and click on the group name we created, and that's how you use the compound clip in Filmora 13. The next feature is the thumbnail editor. To access the thumbnail editor, Click on the export button, and on the left-hand corner of the export page, click on the edit button, you can select what section in your video you want to use in your thumbnail or you can choose one from your computer when you click on the edit button, you will be able to add text on canvas, import images, remove image background or edit any of the pre-existing template as your thumbnail. The thumbnail editor is a very basic and easy to use editor. When you are done editing your thumbnail, when you export your video, your thumbnail will be exported alongside it. Next, we have AI Music Generator. This feature allows you to create your very own music using AI. To access this feature in Filmora 13, go to the Audio tab and click on the new feature called AI Music. Next click on the Start button to create your own AI music. There are three options, Mood, Music Duration, and the amount of AI music you want to create. For the video, I'm going to pick Epic and set the duration as 1 minute and set the music count at 2. When you are done, click on the start to generate your AI music. When it's ready, click on play to listen. If you decide you want to use them for future projects, you are not allowed to use the generated music for commercial purposes, but you can use them for personal use, like your YouTube videos and it's 100% copyright free. To save your AI music, click on the download button to save them. I am not going to go over all the features in this video, because I plan on making separate in-depth tutorials showing you how to use them. Other features released in Filmora 13 are AI text-to-video, AI vocal removal, optimized video scope, optimized slow motion, AI mask, keyframe panel, etc. So if you are thinking about whether to upgrade or not, I highly suggest that you upgrade to Filmora 13, you seriously do not want to miss out on these crazy AI tools. If you are not a Filmora user, click the link below to get 20% off Filmora today. If you are interested in the AI voice I used in this video, 
check the pinned comment section or description to get yours. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please do smash the like and subscribe button to support the channel. That's all for today, see you on the next video, peace.